CIA man. Chapter 11, Crisis. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> fight so tough he had to take his jacket off. You're wearing only a shirt and not the jacket. That's illegal. Considering it's not her the Hawaiian shirt that we saw him earlier in. あの、<笑><笑> I was just getting drunk with women and talking big shit. Why are we praising Toma so much? Jesus. Are you sure you can just let Toma go like this? What do you mean? You're the one who asked me to do it. Well, from the way Tamiya put it, it sounded like CIA orders were absolute for you. Also, the way that you put it right before the fight. <laughs> Is me beating you in a fight really all it takes for you to abandon that resolve? <laughs> I see what you're getting at. I can't deny the importance of the CIA in my life, but I work by my own methods. All they care about is achieving the proper result. I mean, Daigo and Nakahara were shot in order to achieve that result? Well, I still don't believe you'd do that, even if you've been ordered to. Sorry, that's actually how the American government works. <laughs> so tell me the truth, Joji. Was it really you who shot them? At the very least, if it wasn't him, he was there at the time. I suppose I do owe you an explanation. That'd be nice. Mole is. Truth of it is, what happened to Sh uh, Shigeru Nakahara, I didn't realize his first name was Shigeru, uh, and Daigo Dojima was an unfortunate side effect of our concern uh, concerted efforts to pass the military expansion. But there would have been no need to shoot them under normal circumstances. What? The one responsible for that was a colleague of mine. Another CIA agent? Yes. In Nakahara's case, we were trying to obtain the deed to his land. But what happened to Daigo Dojima was all an unfortunate misunderstanding. I mean, to be fair... To be fair... I think Daigo pulled out the gun first. Because that's who Daigo is. We know that Daigo's willing to shoot motherfuckers when it's needed. Um... So yeah. What do you mean a misunderstanding? Daigo panicked when he saw me put my hand in my pocket. Yakuza instinct, I suppose. He must have thought I was going for my gun. Then before I knew it, he had his own weapon trained on me. Yeah, that's, again, that's the Daigo that we know. <laughs> like, oh, old Nishikiyama family is coming in causing problems and he's having this weird fucking really long sword fight with Kiryu. And Daigo's just like, nah, fuck this. Bang, bang, bang. <laughs> Whatever else you can say about Daigo Dojo, he's a Yakuza ass Yakuza. I mean, literally, wasn't the thing that he got arrested for and sent to prison for arm smuggling? Wasn't it Ryuji who added him for arm smuggling? <laughs> and again, it make it makes sense that Daigo is way more of a Yakuza and like acts that way, considering like you consider who who, who was Kiryu raised by? Shintaro Kazuma, a person who yes was a Yakuza fucking Yakuza, murdered a lot of people. But also someone who like ran the orphanage and gave money to the fucking Doki Moto cl um, clinic and stuff like that to help that. That's who Chintaro Kazuma was. Who the fuck was this cunt raised by? <laughs> a bigger cunt. Nah, I like that guy. Um, but you know, he pulls out guns a lot. Why is he pull why is he like this? Because his fucking father's so high dojima. <laughs> And then he thinks for 10 years that his father was killed by one of like the people that he liked in the Yakuza when he was a kid. Kiryu and Dojima DNA at hand. Exactly. Exactly. Like, he, like, Daigo had literally left the Yakuza, said, alright, I'll come back, I'll march into Omi with you, and then, like, after we found him, it wasn't long after that that he shot the leader of the Nishikiyama family. <laughs> so your friend shot him. Correct. 
It wasn't dissimilar to how things went down with Nakahara. First thing he'd do when we bought him demanding the deed was go for his gun. And this other agent. Is he one of the foreigners I ran into in Kamarocho? Yes. I must make it clear. We try our best to avoid taking lives in our line of work, even when the mission's at risk. But under those circumstances, we simply had no choice. No. You were with the white American CIA agent who acts way more like what the CIA actually acts like, and they just murder people instead. Shoot anyone that is a small excuse of a threat? Yup, he's American! Yup, he's American! Yeah, exactly. Exactly my fucking point. Of course it was the fucking American who shot at the me at the at the first sign of anything. Oh, dog barking? Better murder it. Oh, person trying to get the thing that I that I told them to get? Better murder them for it. No choice, huh? Even still, I'd be lying if I said I didn't feel pangs of guilt over what happens. Don't. You're not the one who shot them. True, but the only reason we've arrived at this point is the agenda pulled forth by the CIA. The least I can do now is offer an apology. If possible, I'd like to do the same um, to both of the men impacted by all this. You can apologize to Nakahara right now. He's already out of the hospital. We have no idea where, the, where Daigo is. Literally, the one person who knew where Daigo was is dead, so... Yeah. I'm glad to hear that, but I don't have the authority to talk to, to a civilian about these matters. Everything we're doing here is highly confidential, after all. <laughs> Too bad I've been telling literally everyone. That explains why you can't tell him anything. But the CIA won't even let you meet with him? That seems strict. CIA. Strict as it may be, that's the way it is. I've killed far more than my fair share of men in this line of duty. But atoning for the lives that I've taken is impossible. Going against a direct CIA mandate. That impossibility is the most difficult part of this job. You're, we will ask you to murder as many people as possible. To ever think that murdering someone's a bad thing? That's against a, that's a, that's a direct CIA mandate you're going against there. I'll tell Nakahara myself then. That wouldn't be a problem, would it? No, please do. And please apologize to Daigo as well once you're back in Tokyo and we find him. <laughs> Daigo, do you know where he is? You don't? No, I was told... I was specifically told not to know where Daigo is because I'd run after him. And then the people who want him dead would follow me. I was explicitly told this. Thinking that murder is bad is a worse offense than murder. Quite literally in the CIA's eyes, yes. And also, like, most courts, as we can currently see. No, kashiwagi san told me he couldn't res uh, res um, that information out in case it fell into the wrong hands. So nobody, knows, no, nobody else knows where he is? As far as I know. I need more certainty than that, Kiryu. All I know is what kashiwagi san told me. What difference would it make anyway? Let me ask you something. What do you think Mine would do if he found out Daigo was still alive? I don't know. I can't get a read on this motherfucker. I don't know. Mine? What does he have to do with this? Daigo is nothing more than an obstacle on his path toward Tojo Clan Chairmanship, yes? You wouldn't just stand by and watch if you knew Daigo hadn't been killed. That does not sound like the Mine that we've spoken to in cutscenes. That does not sound like the Mine that we've known. The Mine that we've known seemed kind of reluctant to take over the chairmanship. He just did that because he was like, he believed himself to be the best person who wasn't Daigo. I'm saying Mine knows where Daigo is? It's difficult to know either way, but I can't rule out the possibility. And if Mine is working with Black Monday, he'll have total access to the information network. In other words, as long as there's a chance Mine knows where he is, Daigo's in grave danger. Daigo, where東京。東都大医学部附属病院だ。東都大。そこで最初ホスピタル。カムロ町の目と鼻の先か。ああ。数時間前、CIA本部がその状況。We've <笑> Yeah, we should probably go then. We should probably go like right now. Taichi, what are you doing here? I didn't even read Kiryu's dialogue there. I just said that. What's happening? 
朝顔が I feel like I'm about to be very fucking angry. Taiji is dancing in the club just like he wants to. He's not doing his dance move though! Yeah, this is this is a very good camera angle, but everything's gonna go just fine. Oh fuck! This cunt's back and Mine is here. Jesus Christ! Fucking hell! Yeah, Haruka. That's the daughter that we've raised. お前はこの施設が好きか。俺はな、こういう大人に守られた楽器を見ると。When <笑> How's he a hypocrite for raising to what? Fuck yes, Horika! That is the fucking daughter that we've raised. Alright, this cunt's gonna die. Fuck Mine, this cunt's dead. We're killing him. We're actually gonna kill him. This might be Kiryu's actual first murder victim. Fuck this guy. Oh, fuck all these people. Mikio, holy shit! Mikio! なんだこいつ。こいつは。壊させて。ミキオ。何手止めてんだ。それ仕事ぶっ潰せ。はい。ミキオ、もういいんだよ。くそ。I can't well Okay, well, he's at least still moving. No, 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 no! Oh! Oh, no, 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 どうしろ。俺の命が欲しいなら頼む。こんなんじゃ足りないね。俺はまだ Jesus 
Jesus Christ. Can we come back tomorrow morning? Yeah, yeah. We're gonna murder people. We're gonna actually fucking murder people. What do I mean? It's her. Possibly he's already on route to come. Roach, get rid of Daigo once and for all. Morning glory comes first. Hey, take care of my kids, Joji. It's first priority. Right. Very least, I may, I may have a way to get you to Tokyo quicker once you're done. What do you mean? Reach out to CIA headquarters. See if I can raid something over one of the military bases. We need you to, I'll need you to head up to Tokyo. Um, yeah. I'll need to head up to Tokyo myself soon enough after all. Yeah, if you could get us something where I don't have to wait for flight tickets or anything like that, that'd be nice. No, there's no question that Mina is working with Black Monday. Meaning he'll more likely than not be waiting for you at the hospital. Adam Richard Richardson will be there too. It's leader of Black Monday, right? I remember Tommy, I tell me you knew about him. Yes. Fortunately, even with the CIA's massive information network, all we have is his name. The man's an enigma. One thing is for sure, though. He's responsible for every last operation Black Monday has ever put into motion. Tommy told you about Richardson. I, I assume you also told about a plan to lure him out. Assuming it's worked, I'll need to go to Tokyo to finally arrest him. I thought Tommy had said they had already incinerated Black Monday. In other words, leave the transportation to me. You get home to your kids. Thank you very much. I'm glad that there is still like a brotherly connection that you have with Shintaro that makes you care enough about us. Also the fact that I beat your ass. Let's go, Taichi. We gotta hurry. Yeah, we really fucking have to hurry. We have to hurry really fucking fast. All right, trans to the train station. Oh, fuck these fucking bastards. Yeah, anything that I've said about Mina about not having a good reading or anything, yeah. At this stage, my response is... So, so, I, was about to, I was about to say, if this was the point where they decided to put in sub-stories, I'd be pissed. I'd be mad. I'd be mad as hell. So... D Mina doesn't know about the plot, right? Like, Mina doesn't know that the whole bill is fake, right? That the CIA, like, the military base is fake, right? Mine thinks all of that, or does Mine not care and just wants to sell off the land and get a shitload of money for it? Because for what other reason would he have to come in with a fucking bulldozer to mo knock down Morning Glory? For what other reason? I think Toma told him. Oh, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, because Toma knew everything, told Mine, yeah. But... I think Mina probably doesn't care. If you can sell the base to get money, then fucking who cares? You know, I feel it's have got no. No! Fuck this. Fuck every last ounce of this. Fuck. Is Mickey alive? Yes, he was. He's moving. At least there's that. Ojisan. Mikio. 
ミキオ I mean, he's going to be in a rough condition for a while. I mean, Kiryu could have fought off the people. I don't know if Kiryu himself even could have stopped a fucking bulldozer. Is okay then. Mikio, each bear what to little better. Yodis. Soka. Ah, you got da. Again, the connection that the Rito family even have with Kiryu's kids, like. So did you. Like, especially Izumi, right? Because of everything with Mame. But, like, the kids collectively refer to him as, as Uncle Mikio. Yukyugai <laughs> In, in a normal situation, Rikia, I would ask you to come along, but you are shot. Like, you're struggling to walk, dude. Like,一人前の一人前の男になりたいんだ。気持ちはわかる。だが今じゃないはずだ。え？死ぬと分かって戦うのが一人前の男ってわけじゃない。男なら命を張る場面はきっと来る。お前にその時が来たら思い切りやればいい
I'll say this is another no side uh, stuff just bullet trap to get some supplies and head on it. I've got... Yeah, I should probably get some more stamina and rails, actually. I should probably actually head to town and get some stamina and rails. Let's wait all the kids. Hey, Taiji. I'm so mad. None of this would have happened if I was just stronger. Taichi, Mikio, and Rikio weren't strong enough. You're a child. It's fine. It's part of why they give you another high out every UQ. Because this one's gone. You're still just a kid, Taichi. You'll get there soon enough. But, look, I need you and Koji to watch over the other kids while I'm gone. Think you guys can handle that? Yeah. We got an Uncle Kaz. Fucking hell. Hang on, Azumi. I mean, that motherfucker was so close to hitting Azumi with the hammer. Like, holy shit. I'm okay. Oh, because of Uncle Miki here. Are good. If they killed Mame, I mean, if they if they hit any of the kids, I would have broke down. But if they, I'm glad they didn't kill off the dog. That's like the cheap thing that things do. Don't do that. <laughs> Heading out to help Nakahara. Ayako, if you see anyone suspicious while I'm gone, you call the police right away. I understand. Mm -hmm. How are you going, Haruka? You know, you help Silky's dad, right, Uncle Kaz? Yup. <laughs> That's right. Don't worry, Saki. Your dad's gonna be just fine. Yes. I mean, like, Saki's in the same boat as Haruka and me. Can we get a fucking break at any point? No. No. No, we're not allowed. There are zero breaks allowed on this bullshit express that we're all on. The bullshit express of life. You have to save the boss, Anaki. It's all on your shoulders now. Don't worry, I'll bring him back. Stay here and focus on getting better, okay? Yeah. Oh, Anaki, be careful out there. Kiryu's not allowed to be happy. To be fair, at the very least, Kiryu got a couple years before this place got knocked down. It wasn't like the thing, the place got knocked down two weeks after he moved in. He at least got a little bit of time. You know, to really get connected and attached and comfortable before everything was stripped away from him. Hi, neighbors. I cure you, son. It's such a shame what happened to your orphanage. I'm glad the kids are safe. <laughs> Turns out this was all, um, all this talk about the resort bringing um, money to the Okinawa was a lie. The only one's getting rich are the Yakuza. I was more than willing to move out of my house if it was for the good of Okinawa, but now I've made up my mind. Besides to defend my home, even if it's the last thing I'll ever do. It's my house, and nobody's going to take it from me, no matter what. I appreciate that my place being knocked down has given you the resolve to not sell out for money. People from Okinawa certainly are strong. You're planning to bring the fight back to Ozanaki Yasa? I'd be happy to look after the children while you're gone. Thank you. You take care of yourself, too. Yep, that's kind of exactly my plan. Alright, yeah, I'm going to stock up on stamina and royals before I go anywhere. Because, wow, am I short on, um, I used a lot during the Joji fight. I used a lot in the Joji fight. I gotta say, this all still feels very heavily story, even though we did a sub story at the start, it was all about Mikio, so it's still, like, been heavily story the entire time. Hello there, who the hell are you? Scary guys putting an intro man to a car in Ryuki Boulevard. What? Where'd they go? Oh. Toward the ball ring. Yeah. Also, I was dying as last wish to see the fights again. That'd be nice. Let me get a taxi. Yeah, all the taxis on the map are just blinking the hell off. Actually, I have a Baroque Pearl on me that I don't need. I am going to dump that at this place over here before I go over there. Before I start... So I'm just going to stock up entirely on Stamina and Royals. Really? This is our turf. You're basically outside the front of the Ryudo office directly. Like, you're basically right in front of it. What the fuck are you on about, you idiot? Fuck you all. I am absolutely not in the mood for random street fights with assholes. 
I am absolutely not in the mood for this. Fuck you. Stop loading my inventory with bullshit! I remember I needed alcohol for something, but I don't remember what I needed it for. There was an alcohol heat move, but I don't remember what it was. New heat move needs strong. No, I remember that, again, there was, I just don't remember what it was. Oh, fighting stance, right, just fighting stance. I was trying to say, was it running at something? But no, that was the first one that we got. It's always the moment that you have to prepare for an- Oh my fucking god! Fuck off! It's always the moment you have to prepare for in Yakuza games. When the story gets serious and things get sad. <laughs> Like it's guaranteed to happen in every story at some point. Fuck you. Okay. So the thing that I've learned is that this game doesn't have the feature that the other games had, where if you press one of the triggers, like if you press L2, stamina and XX, at least it's a good healing move. Uh, a healing item. It doesn't have the thing, so, okay, yeah. It, where you can press the button yes, and hold hey. it, um, to avoid doing a hate move and do a normal triangle move when you can, when you can do a hate move. This game does not seem to have that. From what I can gather, it doesn't have that. Don't run me over. Don't fight me. I have motherfuckers to deal with right now and I need you all the fuck off. Absolutely not in the mood for your bullshit. I think that feature was introduced in 5. Shit! I'm gonna have to go another game after this without it. Damn. Again, it doesn't even come up that often. But it's just in the situations where it would be nice to have it. Alright, whoa, whoa, whoa. Get him away. Memphis, they're in 50 yen. Where would you like to go? I'd like to go to the ball ring, thank you. Ball ring it is. Oh, we're gonna murder people. Oh, we're absolutely gonna murder people. Oh! I know this place! Oh, I do know this place! Oh, fuck me! There's actually bulls here this time, though. I mean, we've fought tigers. What the fuck's the difference between a tiger and a bull? Hi, Tamashiro. Mata omae ga. Yatto Nagahara you're that much of a masochist, huh? Mineva。Mineva。どこだ。とっくに帰ったよ。東京にな。俺の役目はあの養護施設をぶっ壊すこと。それに。あんたの足止めだ。あんたをここで殺せば白鳳会から 10億円 
<laughs>。ついでにリュードイクを。ついでにリュードイクを。ついでにリュードイクを。ついでにリュードイクを。ついでにリュードイクを。ついでにリュードイクを。ついでにリュードイクを。ついでにリュードイクを。ついでにリュ
was a lot, but that motherfucker literally threw a ball that was charging at him. Yeah, fortunately, I do still have this. So, group fights, more like shit fights. I'm like, should this game, but it's got some really good shit. I mean, holy fuck. <laughs> Like, holy fuck. Like, we've been just introduced to this new fucking Yakuza, like, entire clan in this game. And by that, I mean these three dudes. But holy shit, these three fucking dudes, though. These three fucking dudes, though. Like, goddamn. Like, goddamn it. Fuck all of you. Fucking hell. Gurnagahara! Yeah! He's actually still wrestling one of the bulls down there. One of them they spawned from the cutscene, but that's fine. Don't worry about it, though. <laughs> Wait, I heard a bat fall to the floor. Yes. I guess it doesn't work on an even surface. There we go! Batter up, bitch! Ah, <laughs> oh, still one of my favorite heat moves in the entire fucking franchise, honest to God. Honest to God, they made the bat heat move one of the best fucking things ever, and I love it so much. Fuck you. Fuck you. You don't have any samurai, I didn't even get to keep it? Bullshit. It's bullshit. I didn't even get to keep the fucking hammer that he dropped. Come on. If you're gonna be such a sick heat move, I would have done with it. Fucking just get stabbed. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Yeah, he's a little exhausted from fighting off all the bulls. A little. Get in there, carry you. Yeah! Uh! Fuck you. God, Nakahara, we make it one hell of a team. Hi, Tamashiro. Yeah, all your plans were a little bit fucking shit house, weren't they, dumbass? <laughs> oh, really? You're just gonna fucking. Really? You're gonna go from being the motherfucker who blocked all the time before to just trying to shoot me? God, you're such a bitch, Tamashiro. God, you suck. God, you suck so fucking bad. God, you're such a shithead. God, I hate you. God, God, yeah. <laughs> Look at all these fucking bulls just wiped down. I guess that's why no, That's why one of them just spit in the cutscene. Because the one that he threw in the cutscene was meant to already just be tossed off to the side. I mean, I got one of them, but fucking Nakahara still did three. <laughs> like, holy fucking hell. Alright, I mean, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna rely on all faithful. And by those, I mean my fucking fists. Fuck this prick. <laughs> What's your plan now, dickhead? Oh, you just call in more people with gunshots? Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Fuck you. <laughs> Why is named all, all the other names faithful as the tattoos are really uneven? They look kind of shithouse, but look, it's, it, it's all part of the fun. It's all part of the fun. Okay, I will admit, trying to, trying to fight this many people off while one dude's just hit me with a gun with pot shots is kind of annoying. I will say that, especially considering one of the dudes has a, has a fucking stun gun. Oh, you need to go away. I need 
y'all are fu- Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, these guys are pricks. Fuck these guys, seriously. Oh my god. Oh, I just fucking saw it, but like the first time ever, there was actually a triangle prompt. God damn it. There was actually a triangle prompt on getting up. I just saw it for like the first time ever. My god. Fuck your annoying. Oh my god. You need to stop. You need to fucking stop. Fucking me up. The bull's fucking me up. Out of all the things the bull's getting in the way, like the like the fallen over collapsed bull is getting in the way of my fucking camera. Shit. Ugh, fuck you. Get absolutely fucking stomped. Really? More? Oh my god, Tamashiro, you're annoying. Oh my god, you're annoying. Oh cool. Other people with guns. Nice. Okay. Okay, I'm going to deal with this the best way that I know how to. I'm going to do a little bit of this. Oh my god. Okay, well I don't need you to do that. Where's the prick with the gun? There we go! Not what I meant, but sure. Sure. I'll, I'll take that. It's not what I meant to do. I guess I was still running at the time, but sure. But sure. That works well for my purposes. Gunfight, dickhead! Gunfight! <laughs> Smashing is still really hard. Hell's Gauntlet! I shot reinforcements. All got wiped out. One go. And let me just shoot the boss. I don't even know if this is going to take him out. Even with Hell's Gauntlet. Uh, it, it, it might. It also may not. <laughs> I think I'm going to do this because he's just using gun stuff. I don't even know if I can Kamaki parry him. So I don't know if I could get the Dragon King Essence off. And I and I don't think you can stun bosses in this game. I don't know. Uh, wow. Wow. They really triggered that early. Hell's Gauntlet didn't even do it. All right. All right. I did the finish on him. Oh, I guess the idea is that the finish is that early. So you can do the one that hits his friends. I guess that's the idea. That's probably why it's there. It's probably there for that reason. Okay, that makes sense, actually. God, you're annoying. Oh my god. I, I have no moral qualms about using weapons in a fight, like, or, or using a shitload of healing. I, I, actually, you know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. Let's just do it again. So nice, we'll do it like a million times in this fucking thing. Who gives a shit? Oh, or, or that one, I guess, too. Okay, I guess that, too. Maybe you can't do it on the big dudes. Maybe you can't do it on the big dudes. Damn! God, you're annoying, Tamashiro! Fucking power of alcohol! Power of alcohol! All that, I guess. Sure. Sure. I, I guess that works too. Okay, sure. Alcohol move doesn't want to go. Alright, okay, let's do it that way. Fuck you, Tamashiro! God damn it, you're annoying. Now shoot him for good measure. Fuck this guy, he deserves it. Fucking hell. Priority for heat moves, so you're just too close to something? I don't know. How'd you lose mod status there, Deku? I get it for the sub right now, but how'd you lose mod status? 
<laughs> Ubai, speak for yourself. I did just fine. You threw three bull, three fucking bulls, dude. You're fine. Oh fuck you. Did I not say put a bullet in his head for good measure? No. Dikira. Teki ni senaka misen no wa shirota no yarukutta. Kore de omae mo owari da. Someone who Thanks Kazuma. ひとあし遅かった。大丈夫。
Ligia. Ouais. Ligia. Ouais. On va être là, Ligia, t'es ici, t'es là. Ouais. 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 I feel awful. That's the most it's ever hurt in any of the Arkham games so far. <laughs> that was worse than Tachibana, and then saying something. It hurts. It, like, hurts. Correct me if I'm wrong. <laughs> is that the first time that Kiryu, like when someone's died in one of these games, is that the first time that Kiryu's like full on cried? Like you can hear his voice cracking in others and stuff like that. Him screaming out of the top of his lungs, but like. But like tearing up and like enough where tears are falling I don't think he's I don't think it's ever hit Kiryu that much hurts so much.
because like that that was the moment that broke me the most in that like just seeing Kiryu that like s s sad seeing what happened to Rikia and then just seeing how much it hits Kiryu just makes it hit so much more I mean, like, it hurts a lot with Tachibana. Tachibana's, like, one of the first big ones, right? Well, like, he is the first big one. Like, other people died during that game. But, Ta like, I guess Lee technically dies before Tachibana in that game, but Lee doesn't get, like, a whole cutscene dedicated. He literally gets blown up in a van, and you don't even see him after that. Like, you don't see anything there. And Tachibana's been there for so long in that game. So, like, it, 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 it hits a lot with Tachibana. But it's like, Tachibana is someone who, like, he was a businessman doing his best to take on the Yakuza to be, like, as a business thing, to take them all over and stuff like that. And then and then you get one and just the everyone in one, like, Kazuma and um, Nishiki being the biggest ones. And, like, Nishiki is more, like, a sad loss at, like, how far he fell to see him go that far, and then Kazuma, like, die protecting Haraka, and, and stuff like that, and the revelation that he killed Kiryu's parents, and stuff like that, but again, they, like, heavily deep in Yakuza, like, big Yakuza, and stuff like that, and they're all still fighting for their own motives, and stuff like that, um, Ryuji, Torada, and stuff like that, in Kwame 2, again, same thing, they're going after their own things, their own ideals, and stuff like that, fucking, re like, Gash even Gashawaki in this, like, yeah, he's, like, a high leading person at Tojo Clan, like, they're all people where it's just, like, it still sucks that they died, and it hurts that they died, but those, but they were people where, like, they went into a situation, and, like, dedicated their life to something where they knew that was the outcome, fucking Rikia was just someone that we were friends with, like, like yeah, he was Yakuza, but, like, that was But, like, he's just someone we were friends with. We moved somewhere new. And we became friends with him. And he and he helped us look after our kids. And, like, I had silly moments of just, like, oh, look, we're a couple in, in, the, in the love hotel together. And, like, the, the bonding over, like, they're sharing tattoos. Like, they're sharing Udabori ink and stuff like that. Like... Like, all of the other people who have passed away who are close to Kira in this game have been, like, either rivals he respected in the, like, in the Yakuza fights, or someone who was going up into that battle knowing that Rikia was just Kiryu's friend. I mean, and, and Yumi as well. Like, Yumi is another one that hits a lot in Zero, and, and stuff like that. Um... And uh, Yumi, he's friends with, but, like, Yumi was also part of, like, going around doing that stuff. But, like... Fucking Riku was just our friends. <laughs> oh, God. <sighs> Imagine if you missed Riku's sub-stories and had to do them in Premium Adventure after you know what happens to him. I'd cry at those sub-stories. Honestly... I thought they. I thought the Ryuto family were safe from any of the tragedy this game might have, because they were in sub stories. I thought they were safe. Like I thought the main one that was going to hurt in this game was Kashiwagi, and they hit you with it halfway through the game. <laughs> but no, fuck you. Do the sub stories with Ryuto to get even more attached to him, in things that aren't about the main story. Fuck you. <laughs> oh my god. Fuck. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> That hurt a lot. Tokyo. 
はあと10分で到着します着陸までの間シートベルトの着用をお願いいたします<笑>今頃キリュウがどんな顔をしてるか見てみたいもんだぜ<笑>でもこれで白鵬界の実力も分かったでしょうああここから先いよいよ峰会長の時代が来るってことだ東京に戻ったら今晩セッティングしましょうか何をだこれでもう峰会長の七代目は決まったも同然です桐生に一泡吹かせてすっきりしたついでに七代目就任の前祝いですよ<笑>まあいいだろう会長も喜ぶでも六代目もガードが甘すぎでしたね<笑>ずいぶんあっさりと打たれたみたいじゃないですかそうだなまあ若い分トップとしての意識も甘かったってことだろうまあ六代目も所詮は坊ちゃんだったってことだ<笑>まあ今じゃ死人も同然だがなまったくです<笑>なんだっておおお会長こいつが峰会長のお祝いをぜひと<笑>何かめでたいことでもあったかうう、そりゃだって<笑>何がめでてんだ<笑>六代目が死ぬのがそんなにめでてえのか<笑>ああめでてってえのか What is your deal, dude? What is your fucking deal? What the fuck? So, is he not going back to kill Daigo? Is he doing it but he doesn't want to? What the fuck is your deal, Mine? So, I'm the one who's in the world. 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 これを使えば一時間もかからんよ。本当に今すぐ行くのか。ああ、リキアとの約束だ。俺はミネと決着をつける。世話になったな何をしてるまだ全てが終わったわけじゃないだろうお前がミネを倒し俺がリチャードソンを捕まえた時その時までこのシェイクハンドは取っておこうでは行けお前たち二人でいいんだなああ一緒に行ってくれるかハルカうん俺は後から向かう病院で堂島大悟を見つけたら屋上に向かえ俺は救助のヘリを回す分かった気をつけてなじゃあ病院の屋上で待ってるぜロクダイメカイチョウリチャードソンサマカロデンオデスアルオーケーガールノーザーズノーチェンジインザプラン Bye. 
mean I can speak English. Kiryu san ga okinawa o deta yoda. Ato skoshi shita ra koko e kuru daro. Ika ga itashimashou ka? Bezu ni kini tsuru koto wa nai. Yatsu ra ga tochaku shita ra subete ga owaru. So, Mine knows that the resort thing is fake to lure out Black Monday, and he's still working with Black Monday to take over the to, to take over the resort thing to get the land for it. Interesting. Nanda. <laughs> どうして私に一緒に来てほしいって言ったの My god, Kiri, how many times is he gonna have to take the lesson that, that it doesn't matter what's happening, Haruka just wants to be with you. Look, it's a hell of a world difference of just like waving goodbye to the helicopter as we're about to explode. <laughs> God, that shit from Haruka here. Yeah. yeah, I'm glad I did karaoke before. <laughs> I'm glad I did the karaoke before. Am I meant to play the game right now? I don't. I am not in the. I am not emotionally ready to do that. I am not emotionally ready to play the game. It's nice just me and Haruka back in Kamarocho. I should think about heading to Serena and filling Date Sun in on everything that's happened. So the thing is, I don't think Kiryu's gonna be in another situation. Last two sub stories are available now. Why unlock sub stories after Rikia's death? Amon, I get. Amon, I get. We have so much to do before we go to the hospital. This is the most dr This is like the pacing of the rest of the game. Tensions are building to go do the big thing, but oops, there's a million things to do. Th why is there so much to do? They normally don't unlock this much stuff at the end of the game. I think in every previous game, when I've gotten to the final chapter, I've unlocked a mon and that's it. And in Yakuza Kiwami 2, you unlock them on like two or three chapters before the end. Now you unlock the jet, uh, you have the jet unlocked, you can now travel to between them for free. That thing would cost more for petrol than a normal flight. Yeah, again, I don't think Kiryu's gonna be in a situation at the end here, like in Yakuza 2, where he's going to let himself be killed. I don't think he's going to do that. Like, he let himself die in Kawa in Yakuza 2 while Haruka was watching and stuff like that. He literally just had a big spiel to, to Rikia before Rikia passed away. Don't die for nothing. And stuff like that. I feel like he's worried he will... He's worried he will, so he, that's why he brought Haruka, but I don't think he's going up there going, no matter what, I better die up there. Unlike what he did in Yakuza 2. 
Not sure how much you want to do now, so play it, especially given what just happened. I don't feel like playing the game. I don't feel like playing. Ah, I can upgrade my abilities. Nice. Um. Isn't there also the sub story? Of. Oh, yeah, no. Th if there's something that I want to do right now, it's definitely. It's definitely solve a murder mystery. I definitely feel like doing that right now. Um. My last time walking with Haruka and Kamarocha. When I'm ready, I'll bid her farewell at Serena. Kiri, you don't talk like you think you're going to die up there. No. No, Kiri, you're not meant to be like this. Prep for the possibility, sure, but don't just expect it's going to happen, Kiryu. What the fuck? Everything you just said to Rikia, what the fuck? Yeah, boost speed of combo attack, let's go. Let's go. So here's my question. I mean, quick step can quick step cancels like one of the last things you unlock for this. Here's my question. Everything that we have left, which is a ridiculous amount of shit to do. Sub stories, I have seven hitmen, um and hospital. Especially considering one of them is a murder mystery thing. If I was to do all of that in the next session, along with the end of the game, how many hours am I looking at there? If it's like four or five the last soul one that's pretty good. Damn. I'm not gonna get enough for it in this playthrough. Um. Like, if I was to do every- Because I don't want to do anything right now. If we were to do everything next time, how many- How long are we looking at? I'm willing to knock some of it out that's not a fucking murder mystery right now. If it's going to be like six hours to do everything else that's left. But if we can do everything, including the ending, in like three to five hours next time, um, oh, I, I kind of just want to leave it all for then, because I do not feel like I don't feel like playing right now. We can knock out the rest of the uh, side content one normal length stream, maybe another two or three hours after that for the rest of the game. The ending of the game is going to take itself two to three hours, really? That's a long ass ending. That's a long- that's a long-ass ending for two to three hours for the rest of the game. Holy shit. Either way, I'm- either way, I'm gonna- listen. I'll save that here. My favorite resume, but I remember it being lengthy from leaving the hospital to end of game. I mean, there's credits, ending cutscenes, and stuff like that. I mean, like, I just think of the end of Yakuza 0. I left the entire ending in a final video for that, and I think that was two hours. <laughs> like, for, your, for a YouTube video. Like, either way, I don't feel like playing. I don't want to continue doing anything right now. I am not. I am not emotionally ready. What's up, we have to live through is pretty lengthy and variable. Nice. Nice. I don't feel like doing anything in the game right now. I don't feel like continuing playing. I need time to emotionally recover before I can get involved in side content. Again, pacing... Okay, to be fair, this pacing issue is entirely because I'm doing all the side content as it's coming around. The thing they actively encourage is when you need to do side content before they kill off one of the characters, the fucking bastards. But, once again, yeah. Here's the ending of the game. By the way, we're gonna unlock a lot of side content literally right now. Like how we've kept doing for the entire game. Oh, you wanna do more story? Nope, side content right in your face. Fuck you. Like, I get him on. I get him on. But, like, why is there so much other shit that's going on? Ah. I'm gonna end it here either way. It's a short one, but... Well, fuck, right? It's a short one, but yeah. I'm gonna end it here. We'll knock out as much as we can next time, and then time after that, we'll beat the game. 
Or I could just stream this on the weekends and just do the whole thing in one giant ass sitting. We'll discuss that. So, until next, I'm... Until next time. I still don't know if I'm going to be emotionally ready next time we come back to this game. So I'm going to come back to this game and immediately think, oh, right dear. It's going to happen immediately the moment I load this up. Anyway. I'm out of here. So, until then, this is version 2. Signing.